All right, guys, welcome back. Um, yeah, let's go exploring. There's another one of those grave sites. Yeah, survived a giant's corpse to a stop a certain fight we won't talk about. Could you call on that power again? Maybe. Do you have a massive giant's corpse for me to revive? Uh, no. Well, there you go. Ooh. Another, uh, raven. There is a pillar for us to light here. I'm going to go in there, too. Yeah, this area is 100% meant to do with Freya. Makes sense. Oh, the chest is in here. Oh, I see the last one out there. <clears throat> They intersect. Yes, they did. What will we get? An apple or a horn? A horn. Still wonder what that purple shit with the ice on the ground is. Why do you yawn? Force of habit, I suppose. Don't sleep anymore. Although it's far more confounding that I'm the tired one. I've seen you stay awake for days at a time without so much as a drooping eyelid, not even a nap. Gods do not nap. Oh, tell that to Thor. How is this? A dawn bloom. You have an interest in botanicals now? New favor. Nine realms in bloom. Collect flower collect flowers from the nine realms. Dream shade, soul blossom, iron bell, murkweed. As Fettel, Frostfinger, Sparkthorn. The one of nine. One per realm, I guess. Ah, damn, it was a slaughter here. Oh, do we get to fight one of these guys? That's another raven sent to the Tree of the Dead. Perhaps we should check up on it. Hmm? You know, that one that was posted up in God of War 2018, I still, to this day, don't know what that's for. I don't think on my very first time or my second time playing through the game, I ever figured out what that was for.
With all these dead bodies and how big this little space is, I am 100% certain that's a fight. Shit, I didn't even read that. I just realized. Yeah, don't even know where, which one it was. Whatever it is, we can't do it now. your brother learning to realm travel you said he fell in love with his teacher yes girth someone he could wander with as never before so wander they did exploring the world tree from root to branch but one day it came time for girth to wander away prayer was heartbroken and resolved himself to perform some great feat to win her back he set his aim on the grandest of gestures. He intended to be the first to find the elusive source of Bifrost light. And he succeeded, although quite by accident. Freyer believed he navigated best while fortified by a potent blend of Vanir herbs. When he wandered, he wandered. He and he shit. managed to wander from the world tree directly into the Lake of Souls. The elves have never seen anybody come out of the lake before, so it got some attention. Oh, that is bloody hilarious. I don't know whether he worked his charms at that point or they just assumed him to be a great deity. But of course, he hadn't made this journey in search of responsibility, so he didn't stick around long. Still, the legend of his manifestation was passed along through the ages. It even endured after the Great Division, remembered by light and dark elf alike. So when at last he returned, he was uniquely situated to gain the trust of both sides and help to create a truce. The problem was, both sides trusted only him. So the peace could only last as long as he stayed around to keep it. And with the long war dragging on without an end in sight, I suppose making any kind of peace was an irresistible notion for him. Even if it meant having to rule. So you just refuse to pick a favorite poem? That's I can't tell what's on the book of this one. Of it's too dark. A poem of quiet melancholy by the poet Kvesir. Alone, yet together, close yet apart. Our long scars a tether. Cooperation in art. Speak without word, quest through the land. Glide like a bird. Draw names in the sand. Names in the sand. I don't know what this one is. <clears throat> I have a favorite poem already. One from my homeland. Oh, you're not gonna finish Kratos? Oh, we're gonna find out what his favorite was. Oh, we have to burn the... 
What is that? Oh! Phantom! Dog magic! Aim for the runic core! Bloody hell! Look at that thing! Oh, was it getting its health back or something? Ow. Fucking dope. Where the fuck is the last one? Don't know where the last one is. She meant the head or whatever. I don't know where that last thing is. We know where it is now. So close to dying. Go! Oh. 
Come here! Woo! Well, yet another gift of Fimble Winter lesson. That uh, Frost Phantom. While a single runic spring can leak enough magic to create wisps, multiple springs can summon something far deadlier. The chaotic power of that that these springs draw from can manifest into a creature that is both awe-inspiring and terrifying. As long as those runic springs remain intact, a phantom will continue to draw magic from the fuel its continued to fuel its continued existence. That was dope. That was fun. The magic draining out of all of us has to end up somewhere. Okay. Um. Dope, dope fight. <laughs> It did startle me though when it just came busting out the ground. Is that it? A light elf statue in the desert. Ah, oh. on top of ancient elven ruins? I'd have to agree. <laughs> we have that, but let's check this out first. One of my horns. Rather lovely piece of jewelry crafted by one of Freyr's light elf supporters. It seems to be a bracelet hand formed to fit Freyr's wrist, which introduces the question why was it discarded? Was Freyr so in undated, inundated with gifts that jewelry that he simply couldn't find a place for it? Or did perhaps wear it for a time only to cast it off, possibly in anger or shame or some combination of two, once he had sped back to Vanaheim to stop Freyr's one? I can pull it off. No. archive of knowledge no sign of the light elves for now maybe they've left for the day and we can browse at our leisure <sighs> this evening i find myself musing on the scent of a book when the paper is fresh it carries the gentle notes of the plants it came from light floral with a touch of sweetness as time passes the pages age they take on their brittle tan, a tear form for many source stronger than the softness of touches. Scent hardens. Crisp at the beginning moving. Crisp at the beginning, moving into the earth, musk left behind from dust, desert air, and insect feet. Oops. To these ephemera, nearly as impertinent as ourselves, do we entrust the collective knowledge of our el elven histories in this venture foolish i concede the fleeting nature of existence be it a flesh or scroll yet i would not trade the pleasure of putting ink to page for all these treasures of alfine honestly <laughs> All visitors must observe strict silence inside the library, even if 
vestibule passageway, grand hall, mezzanine, and upper circle. The books are to leave the premises for any reason under penalty of death. Transcription of any material within the library are expressly forbidden. Damage to the library materials due to carelessness, including creases, folds, annotations, and such like, even accidental, will not be tolerated. Comestibles, libation, libation, libat libations, yeah. Comestible libations and liquids of any kind are forbidden. Uh, visitors must check in with the present librarian before leaving the library. Failure to adhere to these rules will result in immediate punishment to be determined by the present librarian. Oh, hold on. Oh, shit. Okay, that was it. Just trying to scroll down. So, these are the volume schematics, eh? You know of him. I... Ooh, cool. The most gifted dwarven smiths around. Until he developed a conscience, anyhow. These texts alone are not enough to end the Elven War, but restricting their access only serves those who wish to prolong it. Taking a page out of Odin's book. Aye, quite the advantage for the Light Elves. All this knowledge of their ancestors, their shared history, poetry. We are the caretakers of truth and the arbiters of knowledge, protectors of this respiratory of enlightenment that stretches back to our earliest writings, ancients as the sands, earliest writings ancient as the sands. I don't know why I read it like that. It is our sacred duty to protect our elven learnings and prevent... Every time I see elven, I want to say eleven. Our <laughs> elven learnings and prevent the possible spread of it to those who cannot reconcile the wisdom. Uh, reconcile the wisdom found within these walls. The benign... Benightened, masses cannot be trusted, cannot be expected to assimilate these truths. They lack the intellectual fortitude to absorb and accept the divisive nature of certain revelations. The suppression is not cruelty, nor is it an attempt at control. It is mercy, pure and simple. Never forget that. Just sitting here, forgotten. What a waste. There was another side I saw over there. One second. Treasure <laughs> map. Forgotten tower. Yeah. It's got to be somewhere in this area. Let me get like a piece of a broken amulet of Idris. It can be used to allow the amulet to hold more. I will take that. What the hell is this? Ansel's journal. This book is sealed, but there is an inscription. The consul. Big Vier spoke of an exile of the same name. Odds are he'd like a gander at that particular text. Looks like we got everything we needed.
Ah, it appears the librarian would like a word. Lata Framborg. Sounds like she wants that journal back. No. Want it back? Then come get it. Shield strike! <laughs> Oh, wow. Bro. I should have blocked. I should have get I should have blocked instead of trying to roll away. But so far, the blocking is my weakest. Use a shield strike, brother. I forgot. She threw it a third time. She mixed me up. Maybe it's because I never parried all two. Maybe it is a longer combo, but if you get hit, it shortens the combo. Alright, I'm gonna end it here. And when we return, we'll whoop this elf's ass and continue. See you guys in the next part.